Hello Kuma fans, Charlie with the Gossiger Application staff. Today we're going to be talking about master programs in a Multis U machine. A master program is something that you may want to do repetitively, uh, but don't want to command individual codes to make it happen. Here's a great example. I've created a couple of sub-programs that will generate an air blow um, and coolant wash of chips that are on the tool. So let's take a look at my um, uh, machine outline here. So it's yeah, just a generic U machine. This has an upper and a lower turret. And what my object of the game here is, I'm concerned about chips building up on the capto flange on my upper turret right before it goes into a tool change. So I created a few sub-programs that will turn on some individual air blows. Let's take a look at each one individually. I have one that I'm calling M350, and it just will turn on the through spindle air blow, clear out any through spindle coolant that might be sitting in there, periphery coolant and spindle nose air blow with the spindle rotating. So this is going to clear off everything. And you don't need to pay particular attention to the uh, G codes that I'm using or the M codes in this case, but I'll just briefly explain that each one of these is going to require the X axis to be all the way up at its stop at its far limit, whatever the soft limit is. So I have a little uh, alarm loop that says, hey, if you're not there, I want you to alarm out. Just know that that's there. And then it will sample the tool to see whether it's a milling tool or a lathe tool, and it will turn on the appropriate M codes to um, create the function described above, and then it will return out. So this, this is really handy if this is exactly what you want to do, but keep in mind that the body of this code could be anything you want. And I've created three separate ones that will do d different things depending on what it is that uh, I want physically to happen. But there are three of them, and what my objective is, is to make these three macro programs accessible through M codes which is why I labeled them M350, 351, 352. And also to note, at the very first line of each one of these uh, programs, you'll see that I have O, M, 350, whatever the code is that I'm trying to use. Okay, that's important because that first line is what the computer is going to use when trying to uh, trying to call up the individual uh, the individual routine. So step number one in registering these is to go over to my parameter page, and I'll use the display change key. If you have an abbreviated menu here, meaning some of these have been filtered out, keep in mind that you can always arrow right, use the menu change, and make sure that all display is selected so that every one of the parameters that's on the list will be displayed. And what I'm looking for is the page labeled G and M code macro. By selecting that, and closing this window, you will probably already have some G or M codes that are registered here. I did not, so I was able to use M350, M351, and M352. If those are already taken on your machine, feel free to uh, change them to the unused M codes. So a brief explanation of this page, the grayed out M code is the one that's being called but the field, the white field that's next to it, is the subprogram that's going to be called when you key in M350 through MDI or through a program. So by highlighting that and touching set, I can now key in whatever was on the first line of that particular M code macro. So in my case, it was M350, enter and now it's registered. Now, not to beat a dead horse, but I'm gonna change M352, and we're gonna call that M Air. How's that? That's perfectly okay, we're gonna save that, but if I do this, now when I go into my parameter page, and when I command M352, 
I want to make sure it calls O air. And now it knows M352 will call that individual subprogram. I'm going to change that back real quick because I don't want to forget that I did it. So now we're halfway there. We have to uh, we have to register this uh, these macros so that the machine will understand the computer will understand that these are uh, macros to be used uh, at will. So from my main operating screen, I want to make sure that. I am in auto mode and I want to look at the main operating screen arrow right that guy right there and you'll find a button called library program by touching that guy it'll populate a window that shows you the independent macros that have already been registered for quick calling such as with an M code now this particular simulator that I have is utilizing Renishaw probing so there's already a ton of programs in here but I'm about to register a few more so I need to make sure that in my free column here there's still at least oh let's just say you're gonna wanna see 20,000 uh, characters available depending on the size of your macros for mine this 65,000 is plenty so what I wanna do is I want to register and now it will pop up another window and it's showing me all of the files of a certain type that are residing in my machine directory one. Right now these are all file extension .lib which uh, you may know from one of my other videos is the Akuma registration of a uh, bulk macro file. But I let registered or I created mine as .ssb which are considered system subprograms. So what I need to do is I need to change the desired file extension in this registration window by touching file name and here is my file name pattern currently it's set to star.ssb because I was changing things around a minute ago by putting in star.ssb and clicking OK, it now changes the value in my library program registration to show me SSB files. And I simply have to touch each individual program, say OK, register, second one, OK, register, third one, OK. And now in my stack of registered subprograms or macro programs, you'll see down at the bottom, there is, whoops, there I've got a little bit of a problem. I got, uh, I got a little quick on the draw and I forgot to put in the M352. That would have caused me a little issue. So let's go back in and go find my library again. And that guy will delete him and register M352 there he is by the way uh, deleting one program at a time is great but if you want to wipe them all out and start over again that's what this initialize button will do and uh, there is another video on how to do this but you can also set this amount of free space utilizing the buffer size but as a footnote you can't do that unless you have uh, wiped out all of these programs here now that we're done, I can go into MDI and it's going to be impossible for you to see because this is a simulator that it's working, but by typing in o, uh, sorry, M350 and cycle slam, whoops, it alarmed out because my x-axis is not all the way at home. Let's go ahead and fix that just so that we can see. Now it's at home, I got the red light on. So now if I M350 through MDI or through a program, now I've got an air blow going through my tool and around the outside, blow and coolant, chip free tool. Hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local Gossiker application staff. We're here and ready to help you. Thanks.